Gemini Ultra is Google's largest and most capable state-of-the-art AI model. In this video, I'll show you how to use it. I'll also share some advanced prompting techniques. But first, let's see a quick demo. There are two ways we can access Gemini. We can access it through its website or mobile application. First, let me show you how to use Gemini website. The very first step, you'll open your browser and type in gemini.google.com. In order to use it, you'll need to sign up for a Google account. If you already have a Google account, click sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll get this interface. The default screen uses Gemini Pro model, which is free. It's currently available in over 40 languages and more than 230 countries around the world. The interface is very easy and uh, simple. Uh, there is a large text box where you can type in your question or you can pick a suggestion. You'll notice that there is a drop down at the top uh, left hand corner of the site. It shows that you're using Gemini, which is the free version. If you want to upgrade to the most capable advanced version, which is Ultra, you can click on the upgrade button. Whether you choose to use the free version or upgrade to the Gemini Advanced, the interface will be similar with mostly the same features. However, the underlying model will be Gemini Ultra. Please note that Google will route easy prompts to other models that can handle it, even if you're using Gemini Ultra. They'll do this to save compute power, but um, it'll use Gemini Ultra for complex tasks or questions. Gemini Advanced is far more capable at highly complex tasks like coding, logical reasoning, and collaborating on creative projects. Gemini Advanced users will have access to expanded multimodal capabilities, more interactive coding features, deeper data analysis capabilities, and more. Gemini Advanced is available today in more than 150 countries in English, and they'll expand to more languages over time. Let us go ahead and upgrade to the advanced version. I'll run the same prompts between the free and advanced version so that you can decide if it's worth the upgrade for you. But currently they're giving a very good deal. You get two months for free. Not only do you get Gemini Advanced, but also the benefits of existing Google One Premium plan, which comes with two terabyte of storage. In addition, AI Premium subscribers will soon be able to use Gemini in Gmail, Docs, Slides, Sheets, and more. If you already have Google One AI Premium subscription, you'll just pay the difference, which is about $10. Note that this price will be different depending on your location. Yes, congrats to me. I just bought Gemini Advanced. I now have access to the most capable AI technology. Gemini shifts the focus from traditional text prompting to a multimodal approach, which means adding image, voice, and other inputs to help improve your results. Although multimodality has been available in other platforms, Gemini has one significant advantage. The access to Google's infrastructure, devices, and services. It's going to be hard to beat Google connected to user data from YouTube, Android, email, and more, especially when they can offer aggressive pricing. Like you get two months for free. ChatGPT didn't do this. And keep in mind, the more the AI technology is widely used, the better it gets. So Gemini is only gonna get better from now onwards. First, let's test Gemini for simple and easy day-to-day -day tasks, and then we will try advanced prompts. I'm gonna go on a hike tomorrow, and I'd like Gemini to help plan the trip. I'll start with a prompt. You are an expert hiker and an experienced tour guide. I'm going to Castle Peak Trail in Tahoe National Forest tomorrow and leaving from downtown Sacramento. Can you give me some tips on how I should plan this? Notice that it's using Google Maps as a service in order to accomplish my task. This is pretty useful stuff. It added some great suggestions, tips, and 
it was easily able to retrieve Google Maps with directions. You can manage Gemini's connection to other uh, Google services through extensions. Right now, Google can be connected to information about flights, hotels, maps, workspace, and YouTube. Workspace includes things like Google Drive and Gmail. I'm curious about the weather tomorrow. Let's see if it can retrieve some weather information. So ask, what are the weather conditions tomorrow? That's no problem. Gemini got the weather for me. Now, because I've connected Gemini to YouTube, I can ask for some videos of people who have done this hike before. I'll prompt it with, can you show me a videos of people who have done this hike before? And this is pretty useful. It gives me links and also some videos I can watch on YouTube. Gemini can also analyze the contents of YouTube video and give you relevant information from the content. Let's go ahead and add another prompt. I do like the first video. Can you summarize the key points and highlight any historical information I might look for during my hike? Now it's going to use the connection to YouTube to take information from video and give a summary. Now, if for some reason you don't like the answer it gives you, you can also hit the regenerate draft button. It'll perform the task again and at the bottom of Gemini, you have a way of providing feedback. And you can also share this video with other people. Uh, by clicking the share button, you can export this video directly to a Google Doc or hit the share button and share this with others. This will allow you to create a public link that you can send to somebody else if they want to see the results. Perhaps somebody who is going with you on the hike. Gemini also gives you the opportunity to do additional searches on Google with this G button right here. So I've got two tabs open here. The first one is using Gemini Advanced. The second tab is using the free version, uh, the Gemini Pro model. I'm going to ask both the models to refine the same email message and let's see what response I get. Refine this email. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to send it here and as well as I'm going to run the same prompt over here. All right, let's see. I draft a better email for you. And it's even giving you the reasons why this is a better email. What I really like over here is that you can click on this button uh, and you can modify the response. You can have it shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, more professional. This is, I think, a very handy feature that you only get with Gemini. I don't see a lot difference. All right, let's do something crazy. I'm going to attach my logo and ask Gemini Ultra to write a poem inspired by the image. <laughs> it's really funny. Lines of code like veins of gold run through the systems new and old. With the click and clack, the keys ignite, birthing fortunes day and night. I, I like it. Can you write code for Pong game in JavaScript? Let's see Gemini Ultra's coding capabilities. Okay, so I've got HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files over here. Let's run it. Wow, this is working, and my son would love this game, I think. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> As you guys can see, my son is having a great time playing this game. When it's really hard, it's like crazy. I have $10,000 to invest with a moderate risk tolerance and a 10-year investment horizon. Create a balanced portfolio using different asset classes, explain the reasoning behind your choices and potential risks. Just for fun, let me give the same prompt to Gemini Pro version to see. Let's create a new chat. Let me give it the same uh, prompt. Let's see what response we get. 
Okay, so let's see what the Gemini Pro version is doing. Okay, so in, you might notice some difference in the response here. This one is like really to the point and really exact, you know, what you need to read, all the information that you need. Over here, uh, you see that there's 40 to 60 percent stocks. It's, uh, it's not giving you like exact percentage for the stocks or the bonds or... Okay, so let's try another thing. Uh, let me give it another prompt. Uh, let me ask it to create a comparison chart of different types of index funds, highlighting their features, expense ratio, and historical performance. Let me give the same prompt to the free version, the Gemini Pro model. Let's see what kind of responses we get. As you can see, Gemini Advanced created this uh, comparison chart for me, um, just as I requested it. Uh, but Gemini Pro wasn't able to do a good job on this. All right, so this is the image that the Gemini Advanced created uh, for me based on the prompt. I don't see much difference in the image creation quality. Uh, let's say, create an image of uh, of a forest where the trees have roots growing into the clouds. And, okay, this is the image. And you see there is very li little difference when it comes to image creation. With Gemini on your phone, you can type, talk, or add an image for all kinds of help while you're on the go. You can take a picture of your flat tire and ask for instructions, generate a custom image for your dinner party invitation, or ask for help writing a difficult text message. On Android, if you download the Gemini app or opt in through the Google Assistant, you'll be able to access it from the app or anywhere else you normally activate Google Assistant. It's different on different phones, like on some phones you click on the power button or others you'll just say, hey Google. This enables a new overlay experience that offers easy access to Gemini as well as contextual help on your screen. So you can, for instance, generate caption for a picture you've just taken or ask questions about an article you're reading. Many Google Assistant voice features will be available through the Gemini app, including uh, setting timers, making calls, and controlling your smart home devices. On iOS, Google will roll out access to Gemini right from the Google app. If you want to start making money with Gemini AI, then check out my video, 8 Best AI Businesses to Start with Gemini. I read all of the comments and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to share your ideas for upcoming videos. If you don't have any questions or suggestions, you can support my work by just typing coding money in the comments. This really helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you found this video useful, a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. Stay tuned for exciting new videos. To ensure you don't miss out, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, thank you for watching.